Who's this man they want to hang? It's been there for quite some time now. Lord Yu Zhang, they say. Lord Yu Zhang? Mm. You must not have heard yet. Huh? Now comes a new emperor. Today is for the amnesty. And all of these people who came by to bid Lord Yu Zhang goodbye. Oh, is that so, huh? They said that this has something to do with Princess Consort Yu Zhang. That very night, they searched the whole city for Princess her. Princess Consort Yu Zhang, did they catch her? No, they didn't. I heard that she went to Ningxuo. Although, some people have also said that she was kidnapped to Hulan. What? Hulan? Oh, what danger she's in. She wouldn't be able to return. Of course she can't come back, because she's the wife of a traitor. Nonsense. How could Lord Yu Chung possibly be a traitor? He saved all of us in our village. If it weren't for that man, all of our families wouldn't even be alive this very moment. Shh, quiet down, will you? I'm an old woman, and I'm not afraid of anyone. Keep going down. Every year that passed, Lord Yu Chung gave money and food to the families of soldiers who died in battlefields. He was nothing but good, so he can simply be a traitor. Because of so, then so are we. Uh, <laughs> I never would have expected Lord Yu Chung to end up like this. Forget it. Let's just drink.
These Ningxuo soldiers. <laughs> Serves them right. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't have lost many of our men. So even if His Majesty issued an amnesty, they will be marked as traitors forever. Princess Consort Yu Zhang has no clue that her husband's already dead. <laughs> and still, she looks for him. You and the dead soldiers from Ningxuo army suffered pain and humiliation from me. I will make them all pay much more. I swear it. I will avenge you. Every one of you. I might get killed if you run around like that. It was your king who abandoned me here. I know that. I came as soon as I possibly could once I saw your message. Many beasts live within this forest. And when you're left all alone here, everyone knows you're guaranteed to die. Therefore the king wants me dead. I'm very sorry, Owl. I should be blamed. I brought you to Hulan without consideration. I didn't expect... for you to be in such danger. All right. Now everything's fine. Come back with me. If 
I go back, I'd still die. Owl. I swear to you, on my own life, that I will do anything to protect you. Father, Song Wayan urged many days. Take a look at this. <sighs> oh, my dearest sister. It seems that I may have underestimated you. Father, what should we do now? You are now Lord Jiangxia. Which means you have enough power to handle this. I am curious to know your decision. Well, I was thinking that I have chosen not to kill him. Oh. For personal reasons, he has saved Awu many times before, through some tough times. We should pay him for the favors he's done. For official reasons, during the flood control, I was able to watch him carefully. Although he came from the lower class, he was still smart and brave. He took the lead in digging ditches, building dams, and relieving victims. Given more time, I believe he will be a very rare and very valuable talent. Hmm. So for both reasons, we mustn't kill him. Why did you even ask for my help? Did you know what my life ambition was, son? Yes, I do. Tell me, do you blame me at all? Of course not. I've never blamed you. I am aware that you and Awu see me as a ruthless man, and that I was terribly harsh on you and to your mother. I am ashamed of what I did to your mother, but I also don't regret any of it. I didn't do anything that was just for myself. All I did was for the Wang family. Our family had always worked hard. But even so, when each emperor has ascended to the throne, the first thing he would do is they would do what they possibly can to suppress our family. Since Concubine Han and her unborn baby were brutally killed, I have made up my mind, son but I will no longer allow any of my family to be simply a subordinate, especially to other people. I understand that now. Do you now, son? I don't think so. Because if you truly did, you wouldn't have been this depressed simply over a woman. Regarding that, I know I was wrong. Now I have nobody to rely on except for you. Would you like to do it with me? I suppose not. 
I was just afraid of letting you down once again. <laughs> You're afraid, huh? If that's really the case, son, then perhaps you should be the one to kill Song Yan, as you were secretly ordered to. And then tomorrow morning, you should tie me up and give me up to the court, along with Song Yan's head. Such great contribution may even give you glory and wealth your whole life. <sighs> Father, I would like to help you rise our family from the ground. However, with just you and me, I don't think we are strong enough. We must get help from someone. Like Count Zui. Come here, son. Join me. Come. I've prepared a nice meal for us to eat. Now, I say we drink to this. What is it? Don't you want to eat with me? Did you know that my woman was lost in the forest and was nearly eaten by wolves? You should go tell her that this place is different from Chung. If she runs around, that woman will certainly die. <laughs> if anybody ever dares to hurt the woman that I love, I'll become very hostile to them. Even if that person were my own father, as a matter of fact, even if they were the king of Hulan. How dare you? You honestly think you're pledged? Why don't you take a good look at yourself? How can you ever be fit to be king? I never wanted to be one in the first place. You knew that. <sighs> Although, now that my mind is much clearer, I could accept your intentions of me becoming the king of Hulan with some conditions. I don't want any political marriage, and Wang Shen alone is capable of being my wife. Otherwise, if anyone harms her even a little bit, I will take her away as far as possible, and from then on, I'll leave Hulan forever. <laughs> I hope you would consider it carefully. Prime Minister Wen, what in the world do you think His Majesty truly wishes? I don't know that either. This is the right time for us to take advantage of this moment and get rid of all his remnants. However, now His Majesty has issued an amnesty. Get rid of his remnants? It's not possible. You're talking about Count Su Yin Zhang Nan and General Tang Jing of Ningzhuo. How can one get rid of such tough warriors and protectors of Lord Yu Chang? Hmm. Prime Minister, you're overestimating them. I don't think Count Su Yi <laughs> is tougher than Lord Yu Zhang. I'm quicker than you when it comes to gaining back military power. But political matters have become unstable. Today, I have to say that once the amnesty is issued, Many of our noble clans are going to want those generals to marry off every single one of their daughters. <sighs> the political landscape changes quite fast. We can only pray that none of us will get involved. Everyone. It's a truly eventful time. May I request you all to put aside your disputes and work hard to help our country be able to... Achieve great things. 
Yes, Prime Minister. Minister. Prime Minister. Oh, kindly tell His Majesty that I have requested to come to see him. Prime Minister, he is in the hall. However, he's upset and wants to be alone. Please tell him I have an urgent business, quickly. But... Go on now. Yes. Greetings, Your Majesty. Prime Minister urgently wishes to see you. Get out! Yes. He refused? What did His Majesty say? Get out, that's it. Pardon, I meant His Majesty ordered me to get out. What is he doing now? Practicing calligraphy. Calligraphy? Uh, he often does this for half a day. What exactly is he writing? I believe His Majesty likes to write poems. All right. Please take it easy, my king. I can still remember it very well, and the way that he stared down at me when I got him back from Liu Pan. I saw something deep inside his eyes. I saw nothing but hatred. It seems that his mind cannot be changed. He wishes to marry Wang Shen. I could care less how others would mock him. But in the future, once he has become king, he wouldn't be able to keep a foothold on the grassland. My king, you worry too much. I believe that it's a mere infatuation towards this woman. As time goes by, eventually he will get tired of her. Once that happens, he will realize the throne is more important than a woman. Hm. Why can't he get tired of her sooner? Or in ten days. Is it possible to postpone his coronation? At least until he figures it out. No. The coronation and his wedding cannot be postponed. King, does this mean... Lord Yu Chang has died. Which makes Wang Shen be regarded as the mere wife of a deceased traitor. She no longer has power in the royal family and the army. And as for that, current court of Chung, she's just an unimportant and negligible woman. Does this mean that you wish to kill her? I want you to be the one to handle this. Yes, I will. Mm. I will leave for Kerr tomorrow morning. In 10 days, the coronation day, I will declare that Chen will be the new king. <sighs> The wedding will be held as planned. With the support from Kerr, Chen will lead our tribe to rule the grassland. 
By that time, he will understand that everything I have ever done was all for him and Hulan. Lord Jiangsha, no matter how you stop me, I have to leave today and at once! I wish to return to the capital with you. Before I left the capital, Ah Wu had packed that peach blossom wine. It was still here after six months. Hmm. The wine is here. Yet she has suffered. Terribly so. Princess Consort and Lord Yu Chung. One of them is your sister, while the other one is your brother-in-law. Now the Lord is dead, and her grace has gone missing. I don't care what is on your mind this moment. But I promise you that I will avenge them, even if I have to die for it! Die for it? I'm afraid there is... something you don't know. May I ask what it is? Without any of my help, then you would have been dead. What do you mean by that, my lord? Why don't you take a look? <gasps> the Empress Dowager wants me dead. But why would you want to kill me? Jiangsha, why did you disobey and let me live? It's just like what you said. Lord Yu Cheng and Ao trust you very much. How could I kill you? Now, as to why she wants you dead, you see you're a smart man. I suppose you understand why such an eventful thing happened inside the court. I followed Lord Yu Chang. Him and I went through so much together. In battles for so many years. We resisted the Hulans. We guarded Nin Shuo, asked for the court. We remained loyal to them. I can't imagine why. We would be treated in such a manner. So tell me, how could a hero such as Lord Yu Chong end up this way? What a pity. A pity. Such a pity. It is. It is a pity. But perhaps your anger could find a way to bring Lord Yu Chang back to life. If only I was there with him, then he wouldn't have died. Huh?
from the very beginning. When they decided to send me here, they had planned to have him killed. But then I was even willing to come here for the flight control and the plane control. It turns out I was merely a pawn. And for now, they even want my head too, apparently. And now the new emperor, our family, and you, Count Su Yi, are being preyed upon. We're stuck where we are. I'm stopping you not because I don't want you back at the capital, yet to discuss with you how to return and what we could do when we get back. Pardon me, but it seems to me like you've got a plan in mind. In my opinion, instead of waiting to be killed, why not fight back instead and actually give it a try? Awu sees Yushu as her family, and I think you're a talent. Then I disobeyed the Empress Dowager to save you, yet I am not certain whether you would be at all willing to be my right hand. Our family has a property for a hundred years, and you are a great hero. If we do it together, and we weep out all cruel people, then surely we would make great achievements in this chaotic world. Hm. Count Suyi is not a very big deal. From my point of view, only the highest throne can be good and suitable enough for you. I wonder if you understand what I had just said. Once we have arrived at camp, I'll talk to Count Su Yi. Wait behind the tent with your soldiers. Once you hear cops breaking, rush in with your man and kill him at once. Yes. I am fortunate enough as it is to be allies with you. Actually, you spared me from the Empress Dowager. If it weren't for you, then I would probably be dead by now. Just like Lord Yu Chang. I have a condition to ask. Go on. For you and I to work together and seek justice for the death of Lord Yu Chang. Trust me when I say that. Xiao Chi is my brother in law. I would never allow him die distressingly. And besides. Go on. I will find Princess Consort Yu Chang. Awu is my dearest sister, and the princess of the Wang family. I have sent people to look for her. I must find her, no matter where she could be now. Count Su Yi, with our alliance, we can accomplish great things. I will make it widely known across the nation that Lord Yu Chang is innocent.
Greetings to you, dear priest. Uh, when I practiced a magic yesterday, I saw quite a phenomena. I saw water intercrossing some flames with such turmoil and as calculated. The date is approximately close to Prince Jens' betrothal. Do you mean... Wang Shen? The king also instructed me to kill her. Ulan and Cheng had formed an alliance together, and I believe the king mustn't dare to offend Cheng in any way, once they want somebody to blame. At that moment, Prince Chen would have married Princess Miop, had taken the throne, and unified the grassland, and as the king of Hulan at that. Although, I would have to take the blame for being the one to kill Wang Shen. I wouldn't be able to explain myself to Chang or even the grassland. <laughs> this is precisely why you should take action at once. What are you waiting for? So you mean to say that? All right, I will then follow what's destined to be. If the king wants to pass Prince Jen his throne during the wedding, then I'll turn that wedding into a funeral. I told you not to bother me! Your Majesty, Miss Sue has arrived. Jinger. Jinger. Lord Anping. No. Not Lord Anping. Now it's your majesty. Jinger. I've kept looking for you. Your Majesty, I have returned. I'm glad you're back. Really, I am. Where's Owl? Huh? Tell me you were with her, weren't you? How is she doing now? She... Where is she right this moment? I'm afraid she's passed away. What do you say? When we left the capital, she and I hid ourselves from place to place in case of any of us got caught. After hearing that Lord Yu Chang had died, she was full of sorrow and fell ill. I looked after her during her last days. I comforted her. I even persuaded her to come back here in the palace. At first, it seemed like she had accepted my offer. But after a while, when matters eased up, she suddenly said she wished to mourn for Lord Yuzhong and Mang Lianyu. So I trusted her word, and I decided to go with her to the mountain. Unexpectedly, by the edge of the cliff, out of the blue, she just jumped off off the edge. You are lying! That is a lie. Owl would have never done that. She wouldn't have she done wouldn't. such a thing. This that was all my fault. Somebody! I have failed to protect the princess. I failed my None responsibility. That is true. Your it Majesty, just I can't failed be. your trust Come in here. me. However, I never expected that her grace loved Lord Yu Chang so much and so deeply that she chose to die with him. That's how much she loved Lord Yu Chang. This woman is talking nonsense. It's all just nonsense. I would never do that.
时间追逐远去的容吗？若思念尚优雅，为何刻在天下？泪可几经难加。听风哭哑如千丈悲家，梦中一念你笑颜如花，此曲弦一怒马，归来迎你温雅。心难舍，放不下。等沧海洗尽了铅华，与你花前月下。因为你，此生才不伤。在相约于春秋，冬。